find out how this is going to be playing out. We've got Liquid versus Mad Lions. Liquid on that CT side. Mad Lions on the T side. And the pistol round is alive. Blowing up the door right into Stewie. We just talked of him. He's trying to back off. Oh, Elige jumping down. Oh, is he still? Why is he alive? He's stuck in the door. Oh, no. Stewie comes in for the cleanup. And TMB on his own in a one versus four. We had an actual door stuck moment live on stream. It's Grim with the final kill. Fantastic. <laughs> Leash has to just break a smile there. There's, that is so that's so clowny, but great setup from Liquid there. The Elise right here. Door stuck! Door stuck! Ah! Oh. Unbelievable meme. Is going to be. I actually think that Molotov is it's unbelievable how effective that Molotov can be. Grim is kind of ignoring it, which is a is a decent job. Sasa will still take him down. Stu with a kill on TMB. Falls back, gets a chance to reload, but <laughs> they're everywhere. And Mora will take him down. Elige with a kill, MP5, and that didn't probably should stop fighting him. There's no real point in doing that right now. They have the bomb, they've got a one versus three, and he's gonna relocate all the way up, but they're already there to catch him. It's gonna be an easy kill, and what a fantastic second round from Mad Lions. That actually just worked so well. No kit on that CT side right now. So if they wanted to try and go for this, they would have to be lightning fast. Even now, it's a very, very fast bomb plant. JL with a good kill on Stewie. Sossel's here. That MP5 getting some, some good action. He's being chased into the corner. Good headshot for Nap, but they're almost out of time. And that Molotov probably seals the deal. That is such a nice and casual way to just tell them you're not winning the round. Just forget about it. This is still a pretty good round for Liquid, though. They get an AK and an M4 that they brought into the round. I, mean, I think this is a successful round, even if they didn't win it. Mad Lions lost the pistol, but swiftly answered back. They brought an AK. Fallen stole that at the end, so that's, that's pretty good. Ooh, that's so dangerous. Somehow the door opened just in a way that he couldn't see it. Nap will pick up the kill on Waru. That's a nice start. Elige goes down and returns to JL. And should be another round here where Mad Lions can stabilize, but that is a really good flashbang. And Naf on the follow-up. Wow, they're doing all the damage here. Great setup. But Sossel still holds at mini. Finally, Grim takes him down. Now TMB in the one-on-two. Wow, I think he, he faked running towards ramp, hoping that they would yeah. it would lure them in. And they just haven't really moved. Now they get a first spot him, and Grim will take him down. Not bad, that's a triple kill in this round for Grim. What about the quality? Try it yourself, Gringo. <laughs> okay, okay. It's it's great. We take it all. Now that is pretty enough. Skin Club, the lowest prices. They just really, they just really need probably one more player to step up and do it. Not a shot for the smoke there. Fallen gonna try and get down. Actually, Stewie gets trapped and shot through the smoke. TMB able to pick up the early kill. That's a good job. And they do th some of these early. Oh, oh, wow! What a lineup from TMB. He absolutely read that. Elige outside, oh. fighting and bringing it right back with a double kill, but he's still exposed. Still in a dangerous position. TMB, can he get another kill? Yes, he can! He hasn't seen any of his three victims. He's just murdered them all through the smoke, through the vent, wall banging them down. What a player. Yeah, and that puts Naf and Grim in a very poor position. No, TMB, you can't keep doing this. Yeah. Naf's right there, though, around the smoke. He might not know that TMB crossed, but Grim comes up with two out of nowhere, and Naf recovers this. TMB had an excellent round, a round that really, it felt like he stole this away from Liquid, but it, Grim and Naf, they bring it all the way back. This kill is, time this is wild. That is so crazy. That is not a lineup that many people know. I've seen a lot of pros try to shoot down and they just don't find anything. Has a great crossfire with Stewie. Oh, but they've given up their positions and they haven't found anything yet. TMB swings on the angle, but Stewie still recovers in the fight. Waro though, an excellent crouch swing, takes down Stewie and there's a reroute for Mad Lions. They're considering going up towards A. 
three on four. 23 seconds. They, if they, if they want to consider this, they're going to have to do it a little bit quicker. They need to move or they're going to run out of time no matter what. Bomb is making its way in through Mini at the moment. Nice shot from Fallen, taking down Vorup, who is going to be presumably the, the, the detonator for this particular play. Exploding onto the site. It's not going to happen. Fallen will take him down with a Tech-9. But Liquid so far have adjusted pretty decently. Grim, quick to put up the Molotov behind him. Spam coming through. And actually, they're going to adjust and just run towards the ramp. Naf hiding in the corner. He's going to continue the spray. He just knew more were coming Whoa. in a lineup for Fallen. That's a great two-for-one shot. Absolutely shut down. They get Naf and nothing else in that round. And eight on the board for Liquid. Liquid have gained a lot of confidence in the last seven rounds. Nap doesn't even budge a muscle. As soon as that Exodia comes out, he fully trusts that the A hit is going to hold. He doesn't need to change his position. Doesn't need to push behind. Could have gotten caught in a couple different situations there. And now I'm starting to really doubt that. Not seeing the same depth as maybe you would have hoped for. Good smoke and a good shot. Sorcel will take down Fallen outside and that, that should give them so much space again i feel like whenever they are getting the opening kills here mad lions it's so early on in the round that it should give them so much space to work with I'm gonna take down that as well as a good long range spray for borob this has been a great outside brawl for mad lions if they wanted if they were feeling really confident they could pose up and try and get some kills jumping like that could be a, could have been one of them you can look for it and if you're if you're Quick to pick up one, make it a three on three. Maybe you go for it, but I feel like otherwise, maybe it's a bit sketchy to try and get through a huge amount of players on the other side. And Bork is cleaning them up. Really good headshots there. Triple for him. Flash out in the corner, countered from Liquid. TMB looking up for the high ground, fallen down below. Taking a bit of an initiative, but <clears throat> not going to be able to get the job done. Elige goes down next. And Stewie, a late kill. Is it going to be quiet enough? Actually, he'll find Sorcel as well. That is interesting. This this suddenly becomes a round that Liquid might consider. They have a flash. That'll send Naf in. Oh, they have another flash, actually. So he can throw yet another. And this is everything. Naf, he has to find something on this entry. The positions are tough for Mad Lions, but Naf gets the first on Waro. All up to Borup on the bomb site right now. He's going to be spinning around the silo, and Stewie up close takes him down. The fact that they pick it up just probably saved the half for them. Pretty impressive. And it just looks like a one round. At this point for Mad Lions, you think this is over. Yes. Yes. And then that single kill that Sui found outside makes them think it's possible. They actually, they're so much faster and, and it's it's really hard to adjust your aim. And some of these players, I mean, look at the way that your Kindar is playing. It, they're so hard to stop once they start doing it. Nice oh. little shot there from Nap. He's doing it wow. again. The spray just... He's sort of half crouching and moving while spraying it, and it's still so accurate. Yeah, it really is. Elige, he might have found a timing on this outside player. That should be free for him. Yeah, the A1S is doing so much for Liquid. Waro, 1v5, finds the first, but he is surrounded, cornered. He doesn't know. 40 seconds, and it is just a question of time. Making a bit of noise. It's 10 to 5 at the end of the half in favor of Team Liquid. That's an impressive result. We'll see if they can follow through and actually close out Nuke in the second half after the break. Is he going to actually back off? That's a kind of interesting. Grim left here to put some pressure on Naf the Molotov onto that left-hand side. Borb and JL with the opening frags, and Grim, he gets one in return, but that's not going to be enough. He's getting shot at the back. That's a, that's a pretty good headshot. I just think it's unfortunately too late in the round. Fallen takes a long time to complete that kill, and he's low on health and bullets, and Warrow will take him down. It's Mad Lions to win the pistol on the second half, and they needed it. There's a pretty good chance they'll forget about it and just kind of run in, especially when you're preoccupied fighting the org down here on the ramp itself. Flash comes through. Oh, and they do check it. Grim with an oh. excellent double entry on ramp. That is so efficient. You actually, I think if you've seen slow motion, he did a double take. He was like, oh, yes. wait, hold on. I saw something falling with a headshot on TMB. And they're going to have to surrender the round. Not even worth going for here. All right, Grim. And even if someone is there, they... It, either they don't check all the way into the corner, so then it's actually worse. It's actually almost worse than not doing it, sort of pretending to do it, or they just don't even... Oh, oh, oh it's he a did triple. a triple take. <laughs> he did a triple take. But that's, that shows such good awareness, right? Because, again, if he was just playing off of sort of muscle memory, like, yeah, I'm supposed to look there. And the rest of the gang 
And Fallen, he's the sole player responsible for that side. Sossel can hold on to this position, not unless Fallen finds the kill. And now, Mad Lions are out of the bomb site. The smoke misses, though, and there's 10 seconds left. Eight seconds. Why is the bomb man? is just getting the bomb now. Does he have the time? Yes. Yes, he does. Oh my god, why? Who is responsible for bringing the bomb towards the ramp? I need to know. There needs to be a conversation inside of we the office answers. with the clo with the door closed. Yeah, someone, Adren, bring it up. Or, that is wild. Or the smoke. One, one or the two. It's the smoke yeah. needed to be covering that that angle as well. There was something that went wrong there for Liquid that got way closer than it should have been. And Borup, he wanted to test them. And, and Woro's actually on the site right now. Okay, that was, that's a very curious position for the last two Mad Lions players. They they lose everything now. He's pushed in to the other side of Squeaks. Very hard to read if you're coming through, but somehow, Naf still checks it. I can't believe it. That would have been such an easy oversight to just walk in, wait till you're actually at the door to take the fight. TMP just what? shooting his gun on the stairs and fallen, turning around to no-scope him. That play does not work out. The ladder is not friendly at all. Naf shooting him in the back, but he can't adjust quick enough, and Grim is hunting him. Oh my god, what is happening in this round? Now it's jail, 14 seconds. He's creeping up slowly and he's gonna get caught on that ladder as well. Grim will drop him for a double and it's gonna be look good on 14 rounds. That was so hectic on the A site. It felt like it was trade for trade, players in positions that don't even make sense in regards to where their opponents are, but that's what opened it up. Naf right there, he doesn't even go. Oh, nice shot from Fallen. That's a great recovery. And everybody just, encircling each other. If they spam it, he's probably gonna go down, but so far, they're walking out in front of him. They are looking suspiciously at that smoke. Now, he's got a teammate that's trying to distract a little bit. Actually, it's a great distraction. Grim still spins for it, but TMB, flash through a smoke, will take him down and or will get rid of Naf. It's still a three on two. Round probably is not done yet. Flashbang down, fallen. That is a cool move, but he landed a bit too far inside of the smoke, it seems, and now they line up for jail, and that'll be the end of the round. A 15 to 9 scoreline. But it is only a single person defending, and it's TMB down here with an M4 in hand. How much could he get done? They're going to be swinging wide against them. The fact that he even got that kill in itself is actually not that bad. Three on three for the afterplant, though, and there is really there's nothing left to work with in terms of utility on the Mad Lion's side. So they're in a little bit of trouble. Grim with the Molotov, he's already putting it out. Now for the headshot, that's even better. And Fallen, he gets the tag and followed up with the Glock. No problem. Sassel on his own and walks into the... He's already been spotted. They know exactly where he is. Grim walking up next to him, and he'll get the headshot and the finishing kill off the map. 16 to 9 in favor of Liquid as they take Mad Lions on new. Very well done from Liquid. Always in control of that map. A couple nice stretches for Mad Lions. Mad Lions, a very strong T side team. Liquid, they thrive on their CT. What are they doing? Mad Lions pushing middle. Are they realizing? Yep, Stewie heard it. A little bit of a turnaround. He's ready in the corner with the Glock. That's a big takedown. Waro is dropped, and they're inside of the bomb site. They're finding the bomb as this fight is happening. Absolute madness has broken out inside of the server. JL will take down Stewie, but they can just back off. They know where everyone is coming from. This is going to be a near impossible retake right now for Mad Lions. They don't have a smoke. They don't have a kit picked up right here. I don't know how they're going to find all these players. They are dug in deep on the Liquid side. It's very hard to actually get rid of them here. Grim will win the fight against TMB. I mean, this was a very cool idea, and I actually love the fact that they tried it. But when Stewie heard them stepping, it was game over for this round. Liquid will win the opening round on Inferno. <laughs> Ooh. But the smoke that TMB has could slow them down. That nade is going to be good. That's going to be a decent amount of damage. Very well done by TMB. The commitment, though, from Liquid, it's here. The flashes are through, and TMB finds two. And Stewie's already low the spray. Ooh, he's going to get the headshot. Did not even need it. That is such an incredible defense put up. Single player on the bomb site, and he just took three kills before where they just keep that player at the bottom but there's a push on short from mad lions this this might actually give liquid an in if they have the timing but no waro he pushes down he takes down fallen that's the bomb on the ground almost a return from stewie there it is what prescience to understand where waro would be right then but jail takes down stewie 
Oh, he's found a timing. <laughs> all of these timings, everything. I mean, Warrior getting killed as well. It's all a little bit out of control, but Borb, he's actually walking up behind. Is he going to realize he's not? Gilish ducks down, and he's going to get the... Oh, what a spin! Borb had no idea. He couldn't see him from his field of view coming in from library. And now TMB way across the map, trying to get there quick enough to maybe make a difference. 20 seconds on the clock, and I don't know if he can catch Naf here. Shouldn't be able to. Naf going to be down on the low ground, presumably, before this happens. He's actually there just in time, and it doesn't matter. Naf will take him down, but that second kill for Elige was... That was a lot. Liquid put to more of a test that I was expecting early on. Flash around the corner. We're all just going to pre-fire it. He's got some backup in here in JL. A lot of backup, in fact. What a fantastic triple. He's just really there to slow them down. But, in fact, he takes three of them into the grave, and that just works out incredibly well. Four versus five, and they're taking this, but there's a big defense. There's about to be three people on Banana at, at under a minute. That's so rare. It's so weird that I don't think Liquid are even prepared for it. Stewie's going to get one, but surely not going to be expecting for there to be another two people still here. Sorcel is starting to fall back, leaving Waru, but that is, that's a really interesting defense. Bomb is on the ground as Stewie takes a bullet right to his face. 33 seconds now. It's very nice from Oro. And like you were explaining, I mean, three people towards Banana definitely caught Liquid off guard there. But now, oh, doesn't quite hit the shot onto Sossel. There's a couple lit players right now, but the one with full HP is Bora. And he's tucked at the graveyard. For Elige to put this one together, he'll have to deal with the full health player first. Oh, he already took some spam through the smoke. And that is when Bora decides it's his time to go. So Liquid, they have to put together a B exec now. 20 seconds left on the clock. They gotta get moving. TMB and Waro here on their own. Backup is really far away. And TMB, that's not a quick enough kill. He couldn't really transfer that anywhere else. Missed opportunity. Oh. Leash is very, well, not even Leash. I think that was Naf. Very lucky to be alive. Bomb is going to be planted here. Some wild spray for the smoke. Naf ready to take the fight out on Banana. And Sorcel, he's going to be going down. So Borb and JL. And um, take it back. Just Borb. One versus three, backing on out. You start to make noise like that, you can't really run back. I think it's like 21 seconds, and you probably need that amount of time to get from top banana into the bomb site to actually plant the bomb. So, so I'm kind of surprised that Mad Lions were not slightly better prepared, but I guess the missed shot here with the orb is... That's a big deal too. The the miss shot is is one thing. I, I will say I was I was kind of throwing into question that, that little lurk smoke that Elise threw out, but it kept JL. Now would be a good time for Waro to really distinguish himself with that AWP because he's going to need it. Trying to put down defensive Molotov there and actually pushing through the smoke to find a gap in it. 20 seconds. Jail is walking up behind. War has gone down. Naf with a spray through and Jail not heard yet. Somehow Elish not able to hear it and they're going to double peek him. Fallen will take him right down. Oh, let's Ooh, a kill. 10 seconds on the clock. Sorcel. He can actually win this. He goes back for more. He'll pick up Naf as well and Fallen comes off the oh. bomb to get the kill in the last possible second. Oh, wow. Wow. Fallen. The gall to fake the tap and then swing into the angle. That is a very bold peek from Fallen there. He could have tucked away. That last player could have tucked away entirely. And this became so close. Wow. This is just what a such a tense fall. moment. Yeah. If he misses the shot or if the player is peeking him, the round is done. One goes down towards the coffins. Where's the smoke for CT spawn? Much delayed. There it is. And walking up behind Sorcel. That's a good idea. Oh, they could swing it back. They have time. This is... Wait. Oh! They're doubting themselves. They're not sure. This could have been a huge mistake. If they had followed through, they would have found an empty bomb site on the A side. But now instead, they're walking into a big stack. Nade at the feet and JL with a triple. Through the smoke, he just wrecks their lineup. And Stewie now, one versus four. He is out of time and teammates. And they're going to win the round. Oh, that's... It's so hard to see in the minimap, that, that moment of hesitation. And Borb, especially in that graveyard position, it can be very hard to clear out. They have a single Molotov in the leash. If he throws it, and it looks like he's going he's gonna to burn the bicycle instead. So Borb could have a huge impact on this round in this position. Oh. Nice headshot from that Borb standing up. But Elise catches him before he ducks back down. Now Jail inside of the bombsite, 22 seconds. He's got the one kill, but Elise has got his number. And that'll be a nice frag to at least secure the bomb plant. 
they do have a Molotov on Sorcel, so that could actually force Elige out into the into the crosshair of TMP with a little bit of luck. Maybe they could set that kind of a situation up. Yeah, there it goes, but he's just so quick to get out that he's not going to get caught. TMP still wins the fight. Heroically jumping off the balcony. Grim with a good kill and the follow-up from Fallen will do the job. It's 10 to 5 at the end of the half in favor of Mad Lions. That's a great performance. They just need six more to get into map number three. It's coming up after the break. A minute on the clock and taking some hot shots into the bomb site. Now they're actually all the way through to yellow. 50 seconds and yeah, Stewie, you, using that smoke, like you said, all the way at the back to buy some time and make it harder to find him. Nice headshot for Stewie. Nap is there as well. It's a good start to the defense. 40 seconds now, and the bomb is on the ground. Fallen's just holding this angle. He's getting tanked up a little bit. The rest of them, no one's coming through Banana. They're all out there to watch CT spawn. How did they pick up that bomb? The, the CTs have a line on it. They've got the USPs. Trying to go for it could be really dangerous. Waro and JL are both kind of low on health. This is so awkward. They're in the bomb site, but they can't retrieve those explosives. And I don't actually know how they're meant to do this. That's a pretty good kill. 14 seconds now. No one's picked up the bomb. And that was Borob going down with the only health they really had left. Eight seconds on the clock. Seven seconds. It's ticking down right here. They finally put their hands on it, but it's too late. Grim with the triple at the end. And Liquid will win the pistol. Just a long stalemate around that bomb. They are going for the A approach. There's already at least one rotation. Counter nade coming out. The liege comes back for a little bit of a fight and he sees the boost up there. Moro goes down. Jail will get 135 seconds. Still in the clock. They have a little bit of time, but that crossfire is so aggressive. Hard to breach. Now for the double kill. Now it's a one on one, but Borb is low from earlier. He took all that damage from the Molotov, from the eight trees down on Banana to walk this full distance and then, because then he can't fake it, right? And he might have already outplayed himself slightly here. Six seconds on the clock, he picks it up and just running into the side. Naf missing the chance and the bomb at least going to be planted now. Boro, he shouldn't be even close to winning this one, but maybe he could with a single headshot click. And Naf knows he's toying with him a bit. And eventually he's going to get that run and got the MP9 off. Dangerous round. He went a little bit farther than maybe he should have. Could have just been co confident with the bracket control at that point, but he wanted even more. And Naf now... Just playing on top. Naf is so willing to take fights sometimes at Banana. Oh, there's a little bit of a bait setup here. Liege activated now, takes down two. Great swing from him. Excellent setup between him and Fallen. TMB on his own. And it, some of these rounds here for Mad Lions. This is where they needed to make some swift come back into the second half. It's five in a row instead for Liquid. Preferably get the first one. Otherwise, him and Naf could actually be overrun. They're going to be around the corner. Oh, it's right past two people. And Naf is on his own. He's going to have to do everything right here. They burn a little to the Molotov, but it is not enough to make a difference. Nice shot from Stewie. It's the bomb. Naf, actually. Yeah, it is the bomb. It's in construction. Why? Why is the bomb back there? That is a big mistake for Mad Lions. That could cost them everything here. And Naf is now just running wild. In the back of the bomb site, a double kill on him. Triple now that he's found JL and the round is done. Nobody dies on the side of Liquid. Oh, that's a mistake for Mad Lions. But either way, it was a great hold from Naf and Stewie. The fact that Naf is able to stay alive so long, gets kills. He's just poking, he's prodding, and he's he's doing a great job back here. It must be stated. It must be said. He is really thriving. When they test Naf, he has he's come up. So he will be the one player contested. There's a little bit of a retake towards Bracket, so Liquid will know what's happening. And Stewie have stopped, has stopped these players with the smoke, but Borg just runs on through. This is a free bomb site now. Oh no, Stewie denies entry through the smoke. Almost a second kill too. A lot of damage on Waru oh, to back what? it up. This is so scary. Stewie what? comes charging through. He gets a quad kill at the end. That is so Classic Stewie, isn't it? No way! He just pushes right there. One flash to set him up, runs on through, and he says, there's a job I didn't complete. I need to finish it right now. Oh, man. They... they nobody was expecting that. They did not see it coming. No one could have seen that coming. Uh, Dren feeling it. But there's a re-aggress towards Bracket from Fallen. It's a great position to hold on to. Dodges the flash, takes down JL, and Elige tries to strike from the other side. Eight is there, Sorcel. Gonna take Elige, but falling back for more. He's missed a couple of crucial kills, I feel like, in this second half, but 
He's come alive in this round just when they needed it. Just on the edge of bringing it to a series point. Waro and Sosa left. 37 seconds. Very hard to bring it back into this game. Lee Fallen to do what he can. Fallen could maybe try and fall back in the bomb site. Then they have a crossfire set up. Very hard to dig anyone out of this here. And Fallen just shoulder peek once. Definitely knew. Gonna be another kill. Make it a triple. Why don't you? Sosa. He's so low on health and he's got no time. They're almost worth it to try and save if you can. Back on out. He's going to get found by Naf. It's a 15th round on the board for Liquid. They just need one more to send Mad Lions packing. If they need to get out of these apps, they need a flashbang or something to set them up. Going to come through the middle, I believe. They're getting ready for it. Mac 10 leading the charge, gets the jump down, but Elish will catch him mid air. Grim with a headshot to drop Waro. And this is not looking good for Mad Lions. Borob and TMP are left, and it's not enough. He's on his own here. The captain of the team, they go down and liquid. They're in the arena. They're going to join everyone else there in Royal Arena in Copenhagen. It's going to be a real show now that Liquid are playing as well. Incredible CT sides from Liquid. Push them over the edge in all of the series that they played. These defenses that they're putting together, they are hard.